is pretty cool. It's starting to get going. The parade's gonna start in a couple minutes. There's so many people out here. It's really cool because like in West Hollywood, it's mostly like gay people, also people that support, but here it seems like a lot of people, whether or not they're gay or not, or LGBTQ, they come out to support and show that they are all about peace and people being able to be themselves. And it's a really cool thing to see, especially somewhere in the Middle East, people able to have this sort of freedom. Welcome back to my channel. On our last trip to Israel, we were lucky enough to be in Tel Aviv for their world-renowned Pride Festival, which happens each year in June during Pride Month. I had heard that people from all over the globe come to Tel Aviv for Pride, but until I saw it for myself, I really had no concept of how crazy it is. I've been to West Hollywood Pride many times, but Tel Aviv's Pride is on another level for sure. This is truly an international event, and it's pretty crazy that it happens in Israel of all places. I don't think I have to stress the fact that a Pride Festival is virtually unheard of and completely impossible in any other Middle Eastern country, but in Israel it is celebrated on such an insane level. Welcome to one of the proudest moments of my life. This drag queen is literally taking a photo of my outfit from her floats. Goals. It's as if the entire city comes out to celebrate. You see families, gay people, lesbian people, bi people, pan people, trans people, queer people, questioning people, straight people, all of the people really. It's a vibe. It's such an amazing energy and it really takes over the whole city of Tel Aviv. The Pride Parade takes place on Kaufman Street, right on the coast of Tel Aviv. It's literally the biggest and most fabulous beach party you'll ever attend. People go all out with their outfits and the crowds are just insane. Taking a little break from the Pride festivities, it was a little nuts. I'm gonna go get some lunch and some drinks. We had to take a break from Pride. It was a lot. We needed air conditioning and food. <laughs> so we heard this vegan restaurant. We tried the Miyamoto. The presentation is like amazing. Look, I'm no vegan, but I really do appreciate the vegan restaurants in Tel Aviv because they're so innovative and incredible. Um, this is a jackfruit, yeah. sloppy yeah. joe, and a veggie burger. I actually think I ate vegan the majority of our time in this city because their vegan food is just that good. After lunch, we wandered around Nevsetic a bit more. It's such a cool neighborhood in Tel Aviv. We stumbled into this bar, and of course the bartenders wanted to shoot Adak with us. If you've seen any of my other Israel vlogs, then you know what I'm talking about. That doesn't get any easier. <laughs> I think it did. <laughs> Tina. <laughs> Too much on a... Sorry. Sleep off. All my taste buds are gone now, I think. <laughs> It wasn't all craziness this day. We just needed a little palate cleanse in the middle of the day and it was perfect. Nevsetic did not steer us wrong. Wow. Living for all these colorful flower pots. This is just 
It's so cute. This whole neighborhood is so cute. Such a dilemma. Pastry or good ice cream? Ah. <laughs> I found this mural and I couldn't resist. It's colorful and it says Los Angeles, so you can understand how it called to me. After a bit of a break, we went to seek out the madness again. After the parade ends, the party culminates here on the beach. We didn't exactly go in though, as we retired and wanted a bit more of a chill afternoon after the morning's festivities. Instead, we found this little bar on a quiet street and enjoyed some Israeli beers. Not sponsored. <laughs> so wait, why is this beer so amazing? Well, Please first explain. Of all, it's it's nice to taste. Not the, like a like craft mm -hmm. Israeli Israeli craft beer, basically. Mm -hmm. mm. At this point, we were starving, so we popped into Bushwick for some bites. Bushwick is a really cool little spot that calls itself an all-day bar, meaning you can come in for coffee in the morning but get cocktails all the way till 1 a.m. Their food menu is delicious, as you can see from the dishes we ordered. Okay, so so what exactly is this? Oh it's kind God, of like so stuffing, good. like yeah, like kind of like Thanksgiving stuffing for sure. Yeah, you guys don't have Thanksgiving. <laughs> I'm a sucker for an outdoor patio, and this space is awesome for enjoying a beautiful Tel Aviv summer afternoon, but you can definitely picture how it becomes a hot spot at night. Hope you enjoyed our little Tel Aviv Pride adventure. It definitely was a once in a lifetime experience. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. Until next time, shalom y'all.